he 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 so here we got the one and the other and they're gonna be stood upright side by side connected across with cross beams which are right there guys so it is completely dried and installed in the truck i still need to bolt it down a little bit better i just kind of have it um done with self-tapping screws like i had before just to kind of see how it looked like um you ready to see it are you ready okay here you no i don't think you're quite excited enough What is up guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the vlog. I have something very, very, very important in my hands. These are the 10 steps that we've been looking everywhere for. Well, actually not the same ones that we've been looking everywhere for, but they are a pair of 10 snips, so they will work. I'm not complaining. I finally get to do what I've waited forever to do. So uh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be working on building, finally putting together the headache rack slash roll bar slash that's not really a roll bar actually i've come up with a better name for it i'm calling it a baja style tire rack because like i said in the other video it's not gonna be structural it's not an actual roll bar to keep anything from like structurally sound by any means it's just there to kind of keep things off of the back glass that are in the bed and also it's a tire rack like i was talking about in the other one so it's more of a baja style tire rack than anything else that's literally the one main purpose it will serve and i'm also going to make it easily removable so if i do need to haul more stuff in the back of the truck and that would get in the way i can take it out with just a few bolts or whatever i end up doing but guys right there is the metal size that i'm going to be there we go yeah those that's what i'm going to be using i think i have some more somewhere else as well chicken running over there i think a human is about to come around that corner no human yet also, guys, I'm starting to grow out uh, my scruffiness a little bit, and uh, not really sure how I feel about it just yet. I look a lot older and a lot rougher. I know that, so uh, we're, we're, we're giving it a chance. We're giving it a chance. But anyway, guys, welcome back to the vlog. We're going to get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and cut them down to the lengths that they need to be. I already have a measurement and uh, for the lengths that I won't need on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because that's the boring part, and I'm not going to film that. But I will film once, right when we get back to the exciting part of putting it back together. So, guys, I will see you in just a minute. To like forever i don't have my watch and i didn't record the time that took so long getting them cut to the right length and those 10 snips are terrible they have no spring so you got to manually open them back every time like open them and then close them and they're also dull and also this is very very heavy metal studs so cutting them all by hand with that is it took a while but it's all done now they're all cut to the right size and sorted in piles so uh now comes the fun part, putting them together. So here we got the one and the other, and they're gonna be stood upright side by side, connected across with cross beams, which are right there. gonna take a lot longer than I thought, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and uh, bring it back when it's almost done. Be back. So I got it all put together the structural wise. It's sitting right here. It looks terrible at the moment, but it is solid, super, super solid. It's gonna sit up like this in the back and uh, then the spare tire will mount on this cross piece in the center here. Yeah, getting kind of dark. I'm gonna grab my tools, um, put everything away, and I will finish up tomorrow with like Hopefully, well, maybe not tomorrow. The video will continue the next day when I get a chance to paint it and mount the tire. So, see you guys whenever that is. All right, guys, it is day two, actually day three, technically, of working on this thing, because yesterday I wasn't able to record what I did, um, but let me let, let me just uh, let me just take you guys over there and okay, so it is day three of building this headache rack, and I am super excited because 
today we're doing the finishing touches or should be able to do the finishing touches also it is beautiful out here it's december 1st right now and it is going to be like a high in the 70s today like what is that anyway so right now it's really beautiful domino is looking at me really weird she, looks, she thinks i'm crazy but anyway we have it right here guys um as you can see yesterday i was able to put another brace running i cannot see the camera let me just let me just yeah there we go Oh, okay anyway so yesterday i put this brace here on and then there's another one back there cross bracing just kind of i put on two more things that made it uh, a little stronger in case i do just fasten the tire straight to it because the tire is fairly heavy honestly and i don't want it to like bend it and just like wall around screws eventually so i put on these sunglasses right um but yes guys welcome back here we go it's uh not part two because you've been watching this video already but for me welcome back so Connor, welcome back. You guys have been here the whole time. Let's get right into it. I feel like I'm getting sunburnt. My goodness, I actually am. Oh, 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 Gertie. Oh, Gertie. Yeah. Hi, bird. How are you today? Doing pretty good? Yeah? Hi, girl. This is the more cat content that I was uh, promising. See? Cat content. Content kitty. Oh, I haven't even explained what I'm going to be doing with it today. Uh, okay, so today, doing the last finishing touches, I'm going to be taking an angle grinder, which I still have to find. We have it somewhere <sighs> between the uh, finding of the tin snips and the angle grinder. You might uh, think that we don't have our stuff organized very well, and that is sometimes the case. But anyway, I'm going to find the angle grinder and uh, grind off the screws that are sticking through so they don't impale anybody on the back of the truck. And then later today, if we have time, I should be painting it. And yes, it will be color matched to the black rims and the door handles, the stripes. It's going to be black. Um, so, because if you know me, you know I cannot stand chrome. And, uh, cat. Meow. Meow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I can't stand chrome. Like, these mirrors, even. The, the, the holders for these mirrors drive me crazy. The front bumper of this truck, where it's all the silver. Bleh. So, I'm going to go ahead and paint this uh, rat comb before it uh, annoys me any more than it already is right now. <laughs> I found it. Safety's very important. We got our safety glasses. They're actually just sunglasses, but it's sunny out enough, so it's fine. And our leather gloves. There you go. We did it. And we didn't lose any hairs or anything to catch on fire in the process. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and wash it. i got a bucket of water here. I'm just going to kind of wash all the uh, old dirt and stuff that was on the metal studs so that the paint can stick to it. i got the paint here as well. All right, guys, so we got it all cleaned up as good as I could anyways. And uh, now we are going to start painting it. i got birds. i got the helpful birds to help me out here. All four of them, I feel like they're going to get in my paint can. Okay guys, so I just finished painting it. That took forever. Like, I'm not kidding, and I got paint on my arm. Not nearly as much as I thought I'd have on me though, but I, obviously I went and changed shirts because I like that other shirt a little too much. But uh, yeah, so it's sitting right in front of me, and uh, I'm not sure if I want to show it to you just yet. It looks so, so cool. So I'm gonna keep you guys waiting just a little bit longer before I actually show it, because I want to show it on the truck so I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry um, and then I will put it on the truck fasten it down and uh, then reveal it but man it looks so much better than I uh, was expecting like literally the black literally makes it look incredible that looks really really good though and yes I'm just taunting you guys at the moment now because uh, you're not gonna see it yet, but you will in just a minute so uh, 
yeah, I'm gonna go eat lunch. I'll be back out in a little while, put it back on, and then you guys will see it. See you in a bit. Guys, so it is completely dried and installed in the truck. I still need to bolt it down a little bit better. I just kind of have it um, done with self-tapping screws like I had before, just to kind of see how it looked like. Um, are you ready to see it? Are you ready? Okay, here. No, I don't think you're quite excited enough. I think you gotta get a little more excited. Come on. At least let me hear a high-pitched Okay, there we go. Here it is, guys. I don't have the tire on it yet, which is the next thing I'm going to be doing, so I'll probably be able to get to take a picture for the thumbnail. But look at that. Do you remember what it looks like before? This looks so good compared to that. Like, I mean, obviously it's not perfect. It's like a redneck version of homemade roll bar headache rack thing. But it's strong, and at least from a distance, it looks really stinking cool. It matches the stripes with the black paint. I mean, if for no other reason than just looks right now, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. This turned out so, so much better than I originally thought. And I was able to get this done in basically two days, because I didn't actually work on it yesterday. Um, so, I was able to get the frame and structure done in one day, and then the painting and the finishing done the next. But look at that. I mean, even up close. I mean, obviously there's no exceptions. There's a screw sticking out here that I couldn't get those chopped off with the angle grinder, but I mean, besides that, I mean, obviously it's rough around the edges here, um, but I mean, it's literally made out of scrap metal. It was a DIY headache rack that I did in two days for free. Keeping that in mind, it looks pretty sick. Look at that. That looks so cool. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tire up top and uh, show you guys kind of what it'll look like with the tire mounted on it. See you in a second. One. Oh, voila! Okay, obviously it's not like attached to it yet or anything. It's actually mounted. Um, I'm still trying to decide if I should have it bolted on or like what they do with off road trucks and just kind of have a small strap that goes around it. I feel like the actual strap would be better for this occasion because I would kind of like to be able to touch the bed because I don't know, like, as sturdy as this is. Man, the black paint makes it look way tougher. Actually, I do not know. I, like, it would hold it just fine, but this is really rough terrain around here, as you can tell, and I really would hate for it to just bounce it enough to where it kind of just, like, bend it in and slowly tear it up. So, I mean, it is just metal studs. So, I mean, even if it's super, super strong, this is a heavy tire. So, I may just do it with the straps and then just have it touching the bed. Don't mind the leaves and gravel. It's very, very messy bed at the moment. It's a work truck and there's an impact. But that's gonna wrap up the vlog for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future tiny improvements on the truck or the Jeep or whatever it's doing. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Also, let me know what you think I should do with the truck next. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content that will be coming out. I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to be doing soon, and you, I can guarantee right now you are not going to want to miss it, so make sure to subscribe, like this video, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos, and I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching.